If you had asked me yesterday, I would have told you I was sad to be leaving Charleston, but I woke up at 4.30 this morning and I was just ready to go. All that limiting over the past is gone and this morning I am so excited to get sailing. And away we go. Point me into that sunset. The rise. Yeah. Hey, 6.30 in the morning. I can call it a sunset if I want. Look at those colors. We are finally free to move the boat. Hurricane season has come and gone for another year. And while we've made the most of our time over the past few months, today is a milestone that we've anxiously awaited. At long last, we can begin our journey to the shores and waters of our dreams. And the excitement in the air this morning is intoxicating. The boat has been docked in Charleston for the last two months and Brunswick for the two before that, all due to hurricane restrictions and the golden handcuffs of full-time employment. But the time has finally arrived. The wind predictions are favorable and we're ready to embark on the first sail of our journey south for the winter. I can't quite reach the logbook, so uh, it is 6.32, we are underway. Course over ground is 101, speed over ground is six knots. We are at 32 degrees, 45 minutes north, and 79 degrees, 55 minutes west. I've been taking morning slowly. Waking up with the sweet sound of the birds. Reading books and sipping coffee. I forgot how much I love getting lost in words Well, it took us a while to get here it took the world falling apart But maybe we needed to take a step back to remember how lucky we are It's like time was falling asleep You can literally just feel stress like shedding off your body. It's incredible. No other feeling like this in the whole world. Spend our evenings telling stories. And playing games like we were all kids again. Sitting on a front porch laughing. It's gotta be the finest medicine. Uh, the adrenaline has worn off and I am now freezing. It is, uh, let's see, 52 degrees. I have a ways to go before I'm starving, so. Today's goal is to get 145 miles south to Cumberland Island. And right now we're using both engines and going six knots, which puts us in at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, which is perfect time, but not really ideal because we don't want to be using both engines. So we're gonna raise the sail and see what we can do. 
Not a lot of wind, but we might as well try. Yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be enough weight to do anything, but if there is, we're gonna catch it. sails equals one engine. Uh, we're making most of our wind, so we've got one engine off and one engine on, 11 knots apparent, but we're still getting six knots over ground. So that's exactly what I wanted. If the wind picks up just a little bit, we'll be able to sail completely. This is by far the best we've ever had the sails trim on this boat, especially when going upwind. And we've picked up an extra three tenths of a knot out of it. She's my lover. We have somewhere between nine and 10 knots of apparent wind right now. And we're going five knots over ground with just the sails. And there's no way I thought that was gonna happen this morning. The water on the harbor was so flat and I just couldn't be more excited. I thought we were gonna have to motor sail the whole way. It's so nice and peaceful. It's been a while since we've been out sailing and I unfortunately had a lot of coffee this morning, which is something they say you don't do if you are prone to seasickness. So I'm attempting to fix it because I'm starting to get a little queasy by making some ginger water. to over carbonate. I love bubbles. Mmm, bubbles. Never enough bubbles for me. I'm gonna take this up to the helm. Banish my seasickness. Leave my thoughts on the table. Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fame Don't think they need us no more In my head I <laughs> On my heart like a wall Coming back to your heart now This won't be mine anymore Right now the old right knot is a great knot used to tie two lines together. For example, a braided fishing line to a monofilament, or a braided line. Only people that have cooler knots than sailors,
So I will be the first to admit that we have no clue what we're doing, but we can't be out here as often as we are and not go fishing. So got the pole strung up, uh, watched a couple YouTube videos on some awesome knots, and uh, I've read that you should put it about 100 to 150 feet behind the boat, so that's about what I've done, and now we wait. No fish today, it's almost sunset, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in the line. But uh, it's nice and strung now, so it'll be really easy to set it out every other time. So if you got any tips and tricks, I'm all ears. We don't know what we're doing out here, we just kind of threw it out there. So we'd love to catch something next time, let us know. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven tankers, cargo container ships out here, right outside of Savannah. Saw them as we passed through here last time. Not really sure why they're all sitting out here. Probably just another chink of the chain of supply chain disasters that's happening right now. Or maybe they're always here, I don't know. Um, but it looks like we might get past them before it's totally dark, so that's awesome. So we won't have to navigate through them after sunset. Charles gave me the absolute best gift that any sailor can get another sailor. And that was five hours of sleep during night watch. I feel so good right now. <laughs> I've never been more awake for a night watch in my life. I went to bed around nine, right after we passed our last cargo ship outside of Savannah. And I got to sleep until 2 a.m. And it was glorious. <laughs> Um, Charles is in bed now and I'm going to try and make it through till after sunrise because a three hour watch would put me um, up from two to five and the sun is rising at 530 right now so I definitely don't want to miss it if it's a good one so I might as well just stay up and let him sleep for a little while. In general I just feel so great about this passage it has just been such a positive feeling all day long and no it's not because I just got some sleep I've, I've really been feeling this way for a while and I'm just really happy that we made this decision to buy the boat and to live this life like the last couple of months have been pretty challenging not getting to be where we wanted to be taking the time off for hurricane season it it's not what we want to do, but it's just kind of where we are in life right now. And I feel like it's all a big balancing act. And now that it's over and we're through it, I'm glad we did it, but I, I'm just so ready for this next adventure and to get started. And to, while this sail is a very small step in our journey south, it's it's a big one to me. If you have been sticking with us through these last couple of months of non-blue water and crazy boat repairs, thanks so much. We appreciate you so much. Not to get too crazy too early in the morning. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I am gonna go for now, and if sunrise is a good one, you know I'll film it for you. Smell that? Somebody's burning a fire. So good. If you have been around for a while or you've gone back and watched all of our videos, you know about our biggest blunder ever. Our worst video that we ever made. I think the absolute worst performance of all time. And that was the time 
that we tried to go find wild horses in Beaufort, South Carolina. Walked around for quite some time and saw zero. At the time, everyone said, go to Cumberland Island. There's so many horses. So we made it a point to stop here to check it out so that finally I might be able to cross it off my bucket list and see some wild horses. Can see those digits by heart With that first drink of the summer I think about where you are I dial 235, are you alive? How I miss our late night drives in four, six hours in In my mind I flip a switch and seven two forgetting you it's something I can't seem to do Even though we were just kids I close my eyes I'm waiting for the lightning strike To knock me back to 2005 Before you took that cross-country flight Before we said goodbye One more thing off my bucket list. I think those little guys are so cute. They're so much smaller than I thought they would be. <sighs> I'm so glad we stopped here. It's just such a good reminder for journey before destination. With that in mind, we will see you next week as we make our way further south. Bye y'all.